Hey guys, so I didn't actually make an intro for this video, so I'm going to make it right now. Um, this is a video of how I bathe horses. This is not like a tutorial of how to bathe horses. This is how I bathe horses. <laughs> um, so what you're going to need is a bucket, a water station, like a bathing station at your stables, or maybe you have one, a hose, including that. You just need water. Um, a sponge, shampoo, it could be horse it could be horse shampoo, it could be human shampoo, it doesn't matter, works both ways, they're really the same. One's cheaper than the other though, but whatever. I just use mane and tail shampoo because I had it with me. And you're gonna need a squeegee. And that's it. Optional, a brush, a comb, and a towel. And you can also have like little tiny sponges to get their faces with, but I didn't have any tiny sponges, so I just used the same sponge. But you'll see in the video that I didn't have a lot of shampoo and stuff like that in it. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. So you're going to start off with the feet. Um, so first you're just going to hose them down and get them all wet and try to get that dirt off of them and get their hair wet, their mane and tail actually. And, yep, I don't spray the face but you'll see that in a moment. Now you should have a bucket of water and have um, shampoo in it, but I didn't have any buckets, so I just um, hosed my sponge and put it in a little shampoo on it, and then I just rubbed it all over Lacey. So what I'm doing now, um, I grab the sponge and I squeeze a lot of water out and make sure there's like no shampoo on it. And I just rubbed her face and I avoided the eyes and ears because it could make her blind of, if it gets into her eyes. <laughs> Now I'm just hosing her off and trying to get as much as that shampoo off of her because it could if you leave it in it could irritate her skin and have the, make her have a rash or just really irritate her and try to itch it all the time and all that junk. <laughs> This part is optional, but I didn't have any conditioner because I because the stables ran out. So I just grabbed my um, horse hair detangler, and it's my homemade horse hair detangler, and it has conditioner, leave-in conditioner, so and mixed with water. So I just worked with her tail and brushed it through, and the mane. grab your squeegee and you're just gonna like do long strokes against the body like with a finishing brush I should say and try to get the excess water off of them and try to get more of the shampoo off of them <laughs> I don't 
to do. Should I eat? You can eat. You're here to eat. I know, I probably could get kicked out, but... Yeah, it's an old horse. You're not gonna eat? Here. I'm gonna pick some up for her. Come here. Can you eat it? Hmm. You get that funny on your face. You're a good girl. Let me pick her some more. Uh, and then that horse is just like, can you pick me some? She's an old girl. She's not really old, but old. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. See, like her ears just pop up, like, oh, you're giving me, Lacey. Oh, she's blurry. Oh, whatever. Okay. Let's put you away, okay, girl? Thank you guys for watching. Washing. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, please subscribe, like, and comment videos I should make because I have no clue what videos to make. Um, and the horse I was using is Lacey. And if you don't know who she is, you can click my horse, um, horse show vlog. And I used her during Western Pleasure. So, yeah. That's her. She's, isn't she super cute? But, uh, yeah, like I said, please like, subscribe, comment videos I should make. Little Rider Jr., see y'all later.